there is no advanced restart button hence i am using power button and volume button to boot into recovery once the poco logo appear you can remove the power button finger and continuously press the volume up button again you will receive a haptic feedback then you can remove the other finger too this is the latest twrp recovery for poco x3 and this is my indian variant guys many people ask about that this is indian variant this method is applicable for nmc also do keep in mind go to wipe section here and select advanced wipe and select dalvik catch a data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section here and select install and select the storage use the sd card and select the rom zip files wherever you store them first flash the firmware always 12.5.5.0 12.5.7.0 is the latest one i know but there are problems on that particular firmware and update too and once the firmware has been flashed again go to home section and select install and select the rom zip file here arrow s 12.1 latest build this is let me get closer and show you as you can see you can see here june 2nd latest build available for poco x the arrow is it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed you can see here the rom zip file has been flashed successfully again go to home section here and select wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done again go to home section and select reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method of arrow is 12.1 based on android 12 latest version for poco x3 slash nfc follow the same method use the same recovery and use the same rom zip file and firmware you will never face any problems in this video i am going to explain everything in detail regarding this rom not all the change logs everything will be explained stay tuned till the end of the video here we go it booted into arrow s and let's begin this video Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfx Poco X3 Custom ROM Reviews. This is the Poco X3 Arrow OS version 12 G apps variant. This is there is vanilla OS also. I don't think so. Who will flash that variant with your customizable G apps? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, guys. And May 5th security patch. Yes, obviously. It's a June 2 build date, but still the June security patch hasn't received for any devices. So it's with 5th May 2022 security patch only. And the kernel used here is 4.14.267 arrow kernel has been used here. And I have been running the CPU throttling thrust from last 5 minutes and 1 seconds. You can see here the maximum is 150 and average is 130 and minimum is 98. Yes, there is throttling going on here. You can see here and it's 83 percent of its max performance this is not a great sign as of now but i don't believe in these benchmark results and this app results maybe in the background some of the apps are using i don't know i am not using anything but still it's showing like this that's how it is and the benchmark results like Geekbench you get single score is 542 and multi score is 1542 it's good but not great enough 1800 multi score and 56570 is a healthy score and a great score for snapdragon 732g powered poco x3 or slash nfc and you can see here android 12 and linux 4.14.267 arrow kernel has been used here the kernel is handling fine or not that i will be explaining at the end of the video and you want to use any custom kernel many people ask about that you will never face any problem while flashing custom kernel no not really you need not to be necessary it's not necessarily you need to flash a custom kernel for this it's fine enough and settings panel is smooth enough you can see here basic things like this is the quick settings panel and in the quick settings panel a lot more changes has been done in the screen recording options now you can record device audio and microphone and you can record up to 15 gb you can see here that was not there before let me know in the comment section guys if you had before these are the change logs they mentioned in there that telegram group that's what i have seen these are the change logs plenty of change logs 
regarding screen recording itself you can check out if you are using that what all the changes you will see whenever you flash this room let me know in the comment section and it will be very good experience for some other people of your experience they can like it and uh, coming to dialer you get this kind of dialer it's quite common nothing change here let me check out direct video call sometimes yes it's available and uh, call recording uh, it's available but that's how it is now you will not get any that kind of call recording before we have that the other person will never notify like that you won't expect in any custom roms and even the basic roms also this is how the call recording and these things and quick settings panel it's fine enough and edit no more options it's simple and easy to use this is how the settings and coming to drm info here also you can check out it's a 11 sorry level one certification you can watch all the audit application in hd resolution that's not the problem google maps working fine that's not a problem location torch light bluetooth each and everything is working fine no problem regarding that and safety and status also it will get passed obviously you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm yono sb whatever you want to use you can use no problem regarding that and earpiece loudspeakers are also fine enough and speed test like i have here like 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it's working fine no problem regarding that and even mobile data connection is also fine here i have poor network but still it can able to get up to 10 mps depends guys it depends upon your location not just the rom you flashed and the um, carrier aggregation is fine working fine no problem regarding that too and coming into camera application you get this basic google go camera pre-installed if you want you can use this arno build gcam i've been telling this from long time this is the only gcam that's working almost fine i can't say it's 100 percent better few people won't use a few options they can look out some other gcam ports recently i made some of the videos some of them commenting that they using x gcam that's depend upon you guys whichever gcam you use share your experience it might help some others which are like who are in same scenario what they like and if you like the same then it might be helpful you can share your experience this are the quick settings panel and settings it's simple nothing to explain here in every video and battery regarding batteries are extreme battery service given battery usage has been recorded fortunately you can optimize and restrict and unrestricted these are the options you get you can see here it was around 95 percent now it's 84 11 percentage of battery has been dropped i was set up in the device i mean the this particular rom and uh, installing some of the apps and uh, running benchmark results it's fine enough you won't do those things uh, each and every time it's just a one time i'll do you use maybe you play bgma or whatever it is it depends upon your usage pattern and also the brightness what you keep of your smartphone that makes you i mean that will tell you the actual battery life some people use it very low brightness they might get very good battery life and their usage also matters and that's the thing here in this particular rom and regarding dark theme they have been updated this thing that's i really like it let me go into dark theme as you can see use black theme that is really really good ROS you are listening to me or what i don't know but this is very important feature i was looking for finally you added i really appreciate you adding this use black theme i really like it because it wasn't that great using dark theme and lcd features i don't think so you need to use this especially while playing bgma like games it will rain battery not just that the device will get very very warm i'm warning it again people unknowingly they will improve this or add this as a high or anything like that they forget that they added and they start playing bgma and face heating issues that you need to keep in mind let me show you the bgma gameplay also and regarding this calling and everything is fine and earphone quality through the headphone jack is fine just this thing system into the gestures 
enter the system navigation gestures you can see here there is no option to increase the pill length and it's not visible also i think next thing if they want to add anything arrow is please add this just gesture bar length should be differentiating from this particular screen at least if you don't give the increase or increase the radius or length that would be fine that's my wish list of arrow is next 12.1 or 13.1 whatever it is these are the things you need to keep in mind and uh, this arrow is very simple rom you won't get any customization it's very simple just battery percentages also if you enable here it will get enabled no customization whatsoever and in the home screen they have added i don't know widgets going to work fine that's not the problem here change wallpapers nothing has been pre-installed here something like icon packs they have added a little bit customization is available this how the rom is it's smooth enough for day-to-day -day task and everything let's see how it handle bgma obviously you won't get any extra graphic settings only smooth plus ultra let's see this is the graphic settings you get smooth plus ultra only nothing great hd and high but if you know how to enable using magics model or file transfer method or gfx tool you can increase that that's not the problem i'm just showing off what is available in this particular rom i mean by default what you get that's how it is into the boot camp let's check out how it handles and by the way if you're first time to this channel guys hit that subscribe button down below guys many people watching my videos but not subscribing it's now high time people watching regularly my videos but not subscribing interest in my videos have a subscribe on my channel and if you like the video give it a like also oh no i surpassed boot camp let's see not a problem here and there is a little bit gaming mode is also added and the gaming performance has been improved they mentioned in the this change locks but uh, i don't think so this is not going to be a gaming room whatsoever but it might differ for person to person some people like to play simple games or arcade or car racing games it depends upon you completely but majority of the people like to play this bgmi so i am showing the gameplay of that hope i get any gun here okay got both the smgs okay got ar gun also it's playable guys definitely i thought it is choppy at 40 fps but it's not the case here let's see Whether he was a bot or what, I don't know. Where was he? You can see here again with grip, same graphic settings. Smooth plus ultra only. TDM. It was playable actually. Much better than previous versions of AirOS. Yes, they mentioned correctly in the what change logs. It's fine actually. Playable. Let me know in the comment section this also if you feel any difference after flashing this particular ROM, the version, the June 2nd build. Okay, I got struck there. This is the Arrow S 12.1 with VGMA, TDM gameplay and everything I have explained. If you haven't watched it from the beginning, have a look on that and also I explained flashing method. 30% of the people go wrong in the flashing method itself I don't know why and I'll come back here and show you the charging animation here you can see I hope so you can see here charging rapidly it means you can use the 33 watt charger I recommend to buy one 10 watt charger also whenever you need not to go 
आउटसाइड आर नो नीड टू चार्ज फास्टली आई मीन द फास्टर दैन यू कैन यूज द नॉर्मल चार्जर ऑल्सो दैट विल इंप्रूव युअर बैटरी लाइफ क्वैट अ बिट I won't say any day net difference in bad luck, but that's how it is. And fingerprint scanner, you can see here, it's also fast enough. You can definitely try it out as a daily driver, as a simple user. And if you are already using as a daily driver for lot more months with this particular Arrow OS, you can stick with the same. Don't find for anything else. It how it is. You can't get any. exact replacement that you need to keep in mind in custom roms that's how it is and we'll wind off this video this is how the recent apps you get we'll meet with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now